Frugal friends, welcome back. I am Julie, and we found something fabulous in the dumpsters this last weekend over at the College Student Housing. And today, we are going to try it out, check it out, and see if it's still good, why they threw it away, and maybe decide what we are going to do with it. Let's jump in and see what I'm talking about. So it didn't have the pump with it that it's supposed to come with, and I'm guessing that's why they threw it away. For whatever reason, maybe the pump broke, but luckily we have a rainbow vacuum that we invested in several, several years ago. Yes, definitely an investment, holy cow. Um, but it has a function on it where it blows air out. And so we are just using that to blow this up. Now with the other fans, I think like they're going continuously. We won't be able to have this going continuously. I don't wanna destroy my vacuum because holy cow, It'd be crazy to try to replace it. So uh, we'll see. We'll get it as full as we can. And then as we need to refill it, then perhaps we will. I'm just expecting we'll have this out for a couple of days to enjoy it and to test it. I haven't decided yet if we're going to keep it. I know the kids are pretty excited. Uh, I haven't seen any like cuts or rips or anything like that of issue. So my guess is that they threw it away um, only because they didn't have the pump. So here's the issue with the bounce house. So it is perfect. Like there is nothing wrong with it. And it did end up coming with or, or had still all of the stakes, the instructions, the bouncy ball things, everything to go inside because there's like basketball hoops. And so it had all of that with it, which is fantastic. Now, of course, it didn't have the pump. We tried with the vacuum. We tried. And it was enough power and air to be able to test it and make sure that there weren't any tears or rips or anything so that the bounce house itself is in perfect condition. Problem was the vacuum was not strong enough to get it all the way full and then when you're using the bounce house you're supposed to have that um, blowing fan going the whole time to keep it all inflated. So we didn't even get to play on it which was unfortunate but it is what it is. So now the decision is do we invest in a new blower fan thing? And I looked them up. It would be about $90 to get one and keep this for ourselves and use it and enjoy it. Or do I just sell the bounce house as is? I could get probably $100, $150 for it just on its own. This is a tough choice, guys. And we, we are faced with choices like this with dumpster diving quite often where there's something that we would love to have ourselves, but it would it require, you know, a bit of an investment? And then we also have the opportunity to sell it and earn a little money. These are tricky things. And the kids were really, really excited about using it. And they were pretty bummed that it didn't end up working out with just the vacuum. So, I mean, I am leaning toward investing in the, um, the pump replacement just so that the kids can have fun with it and enjoy it. Oh, these are tough, tough choices. But there you go. It definitely is perfect. Other than not having a pump, I will let you guys know what we end up deciding to do. But most likely, we will go ahead and order a pump for it and enjoy it for ourselves, you know, for a year or two. And then, of course, the kids will, you know, have grown out of it. And then we can sell it or, or pass it on that way. Thank you so much for coming along for this quick update. Happy to satisfy your curiosity on that. A lot of people have been asking what was the situation with the bounce house, so now you know. If you have not yet subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe and that bell notification. You don't want to you don't want to miss all the adventures that we've got coming up. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you all real soon.